We uh, take an interdisciplinary approach to try to understand the function of the visual system of the brain. For example, um, we um, investigate properties of the retina. In particular, we look at cell and molecular processes that underlie retinal function and the electrophysiology of the retina. With cell and molecular uh, studies, we can investigate, for example, um, how the retina wires itself during the early stages of life, during development. Uh, with electrophysiology, what we have been doing is trying to unravel the code with which the retina transmits information about visual images to the rest of the brain. For example, we have been very interested in adaptation, the fact that the retina optimizes itself every time the environment changes. We have been interested in the fact that the retina is probabilistic. So if you show an image to a retina, you get a response from the cells. Then we, um, in the other lab um, where we do psychophysics, we're very interested in how the brain uses the information coming from the retina. We also have been very interested in visual learning, how you learn to perform new tasks. Now the glue that puts all these pieces of research together and is very important in our lab is uh, computational theory. We actually do a lot of math and computer modeling to try to make sense of how these various parts of research connect to each other. For example, um, to understand how the brain processes images, you have to model the neurons and then use probabilistic theory, for example, to try to understand what the brain can do with that information and how it can um, interpret things in the world.